HIV Successful Treatment with APCO Immunotherapy. How it works. One feature of APCO Immunotherapy is its high efficacy in repairing telomeres. Why are we talking about telomeres? Well, because telomeres are the ends of chromosomes present in all cells of our body. The shortening or damaging of telomeres will lead to many side effects. Shortened telomeres will lose their effectiveness in protecting chromosomes, leading to all kinds of side effects and abnormalities in the body. What we want to say here is that these side effects can be stopped or reduced. Antiviral drugs work well to suppress virus from replicating, but they also interfere with the repair of telomeres. The side effects of antiviral drugs together with the HIV virus cause telomeres to shorten, preventing cells from dividing, eventually leading to cell atrophy and death. This process is the reason why people who continuously use antiviral drugs will have their lifespan shortened by nine years, according to statistics. But if we can repair their telomeres, they will be able to recover the lost years to live a long life like others who are not taking antiretroviral drugs. In this area is where we lengthen the telomere and reduce the side effects of antiretrovirals. Scientific studies have shown that the CD4 that was destroyed most by HIV is Th17. And it happens to be that Th17 is a white blood cell that stimulates the immune system. A decrease of Th17 means a rapid decline in immunity. A research institute at Chiang Mai University tested our innovation and found that taking four capsules per day of the immunotherapy for 15 days caused Th17 that was being killed by HIV to be boosted by 500%. And this is within 15 days of using only four capsules per day. So it is not surprising that CD4 increased. Meanwhile, we found that another CD4, which is Th1, also increased by 200% too. To sum up, Th17 increased by 500% and Th1 increased by 200%. The increase in Th1 and Th17 together can stimulate a type of white blood cells known as killer T cells, whose amount is measured in the CD8 count of a blood test. Killer T cells prevent foreign matters from entering the body and eliminate those that made it in. Here is a killer T cells white blood cell that has been stimulated. It stays in the bloodstream and goes around to greet other cells. If it finds them to be normal cells, it does nothing and moves on to others. But when it finds an abnormal cell, such as an infected cell, which shows an antigen on the surface of the abnormal cell membrane, the killer T cell makes contact with the abnormal cell and binds to its antigen. The killer T cell then sends signals to recruit other white blood cells to help deal with the infected cell. At the same time, the killer T cell release perforin, shown here in pink, at the infected cell surface to generate pores in the infected cell. After creating a pore, the killer T cell releases granzymes, a type of cytotoxic protein, into the infected cell. The infected cell, which is also a protein, is destroyed and the virus inside the infected cell, also a protein, is destroyed completely. This process truly kills the virus. In contrast to the other methods like using antiviral drugs that works only to suppress the virus from replicating. Therefore, immunotherapy produces a result that is different from that achieved by the use of antiviral drugs. The point here is important. You may recall that we mentioned earlier that we were able to stimulate Th17. Today it is well known in the scientific community that Th17, which is a stem cell that has the ability to maintain genomic stability and the ability of self-renewal, can also directly eliminated infected cells. But for the most part, it is responsible for stimulating killer T cells, which in turn eliminate infected cells with high effectiveness. 
Both Th17 and the killer T cell that it stimulates are memory cells. Memory here refers to the fact that some cells have memory that they once dealt with the virus and if that virus returns, our immune system will automatically destroy it. Therefore, the more we let killer T cells work, the more they become effective. Thus, the elimination of HIV virus is something that is definitely possible. So by effectively repairing damages on telomeres, we can reduce the side effects of antiviral drugs. And by efficiently stimulating killer T cells, we can kill and eliminate HIV virus.